Welcome back. Today we're at Ride B Ham in Birmingham, Alabama. This is a brand new pedal access downhill bike park that just opened up. And they've got everything from greens to blues to blacks, double blacks, and pro lines. So we're gonna be exploring today. I'm gonna do my best to show you everything, but no promises once we start getting to the double blacks and pro lines. But anyway, here we go. We're gonna be bouncing around a little bit, but we'll try to stick to greens, blues, blacks, and all the way up. This is local flow. Just some nice berms and turns and rollers. Very well manicured. I like it. It's a good little intro to the park. All right. Next up on the list, we have the next green trail, which is Sunday Driver. That one was a little slower speed, flatter turns than local flow. A little more beginner friendly, but still very nice. Pretty cool that it goes into that little one called drop zone with some drops. So not bad. I think I like local flow a little better though. All right, we're back up where we just were next to Sunday driver for the first blue of the day. Hematite. Nice, I like that one, pretty short, but tighten through the trees, pretty cool. We're back over at peak number two, next to local flow for the first blue trail over here called Canuga.
not bad. Dead sailored that step up a little bit, but we'll take it. Pretty clean run. Back at the top, next to local flow in Canuga. And this is Upper Eureka. Went down. <laughs> Man, that's a tough end of that trail. Instead of continuing on Lower Eureka, which we will come back to, we'll keep going on the creatively named Berm Ingham. berms are fun back up at the top again and this is okay boomer this is the second loamer of the day It's fun, just kind of straight to the point though. Right next to OK Boomer is Punch and Drift, which is kind of the same, but a little more difficult. which is kind of the same, but a little more difficult. Try this section again. Try this again. Start in from this drop. skip that, I don't know. We'll take it. <laughs> Man, I wish I could clean that. I feel like that's something I could do. But, gotta keep moving, got other stuff to do. Back at peak number one. And this is upper chiropractor. Skip the cannon to nowhere. Oh, 
into lower chiropractor. If you haven't noticed, the things on peak one tend to be a little quicker, as in shorter, than the things on peak two. Still fun though. Last black trail of the day. Said we'd come back to it. And this is Lower Eureka. couple cases but we'll take it so I just came down this line right here and that top set right there that's a little smaller but you may have seen right to the right of it there's another set of jumps that are bigger. This is called Huck Norris. And you can kind of see that guy working on it next to that wooden thing. It's a little jump onto that landing. Pretty intimidating looking, but probably scarier looking than it really is. But not gonna be doing that today. Then they have another line, wooden cannon here. That you hit right there into this wooden lip here. Landing, another wooden lip there. Alright, so looking at this sign, I've done everything except the double black crucible, Huck Norris, which is that jump line next to Lower Eureka, black back door, and the pro lines. So, done a pretty good job knocking these out. I don't think I have it in the tank to do all the rest of them, so I'll roll through crucible just to show it to you. On to crucible. This is going to be the last one of the day. It's a double black. Going from green to blue to black to double black makes a lot of sense until it's the end of the day and you've done 4,100 feet of climbing and each trail gets harder and harder. But I think I can at least get you the top third of this trail. and then the bottom third. This is where it starts getting sketchy. Big jump. That I will be walking over. You can get a sense of it there into a big berm with a quite sniper step down as the builder called it big tree in the way makes it difficult and then once we're past that big berm you can either step this down or roll it like i'm gonna do another jump hip into the bottom third and that's going to be it I think I got to most everything got some good runs at the beginning and then you at least got to see crucible at the end so yeah if you couldn't tell this place is pretty sick and they've done a really good job 
Here, I'll show you this real quick at least before I go. That trail chiropractor that I did earlier, you can split off instead of going on lower chiropractor and either come out of that steep chute right there on the right or pedal hard from the left, come down roller, big step up. So yeah, pretty cool. If you couldn't tell, they've done a really, really good job with this place. There's a ton of stuff, a ton of variety, and there's something for everybody from green to blue to black to double black to proline shoots, flow trails, loam trails, tech. They got it. I was really impressed with this place and you should definitely come check it out. It's in Birmingham, Alabama. It's called Rod Beham. You won't regret it. Come check it out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.